as you can see, I've got some Neo Pixels glow in here. I'm using the micro bit to uh, run the data through its Cricut with a nice, easy plug-in hookup. Just need a little tiny screwdriver. Tiny screwdrivers are very important. I could have done the exact same thing with the Circle Playground Express. This happens to actually be running 120 NeoPixels. At some point in time in your extension of NeoPixels, you have to add more power down the line. That's the biggest thing. So, uh, the program I have running is just a rainbow program and it's uh, stepping it one pixel. It's moving the rainbow every uh, half second. So that's what it's doing. The program. The advantage to using the micro bit and the CPX is that you can use make code and blocks. Now, as you notice up there at the top where it says blocks, it also says JavaScript. So yeah, you can also do JavaScript. If kids want to learn JavaScript, it's they're doing it's the same thing. Let's click on JavaScript. So there's the Java code. So if the kids want to learn a little basic Java code, that'd be good for them. They can see it there. They can start trying to tweak the Java if they want to. But they can start with blocks. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta go to make code. Um, signing in is always good so you can save things. Now, you then have to do two things. If you're in a micro bit, let me set this on here and it'll bounce a little bit. Um, you got to come down to extensions. And you're going to want to find the NeoPixel extension. And click on that to add that. That's step one. There you go. There's the NeoPixel one. Step two, the make code, uh, Microsoft does not support the Cricut yet, um, but there is a URL. So you're going to be, uh, you're going to want to be on the Adafruit website anyways. So go to Adafruit, go to learn, and go to Cricut. And then one of the tabs in the learn for the Cricut is this GitHub which is a URL that you use. So you grab that URL, and then you come back to the make code, back to the extensions, and you plug that URL in, and then you click on Cricut. And it will give you, oh, back here. So again, when I did the NeoPixel, it added NeoPixels. Let's get it more blurry. Trying to balance that iPad on the table. So, and then it also gave me a cricket in here. So, and the programming is pretty pretty simple with, with the block coding. I on start, first thing you have to do is you have to tell it that you have a strip of LEDs. So again, come to NeoPixels, find set strip, which is that top one. Tell it how many uh, Neo LEDs you have and what pin you're on. If you're using the Cricut for the micro bit, you're at pin 16. All right. Um, how, how do I get out of here? Oh my gosh. There we go. Uh, so I told 120 NeoPixels on pin 16, and on start, I told it to show the rainbow. That's one of the NeoPixel functions. You know, show color, show rainbow. Um, you can set all. I use the little shift. Or I used rotate. Um, you, you tell it to set one pixel at a certain color. Um, wait, where is that? Oh, more maybe. Set pixel color at. So you can pick a pixel number and tell it what color you want. The bad part about this is if you got uh, 120 pixels, is you're going to have 120 lines of uh, set pixel color at zero, set pixel color at one, set pixel color at two. Da -da -da -da. And yes, you can do RGB. 
So there down at the bottom is red, green, blue, and you just kind of drag that and drop it into the color. And so there would be a whole, here you have a whole row of set pixel color at one, set pixel color at two. There's got to be a way to chunk them, and I'm wondering if, where is that? I saw something. I'm wondering if, no, where are you at? I saw something that was, might be a range, set range. I'm wondering if that's a way to make a variable and have it be a chunk of pixels. So, and therefore that you could then um, set the range to red and the range to blue. But that is it. Um, then you click this little download. It downloads the program. Boom, see there, I got a whole bunch of programs there. And look on the computer, there's a micro bit there. You drag and drop it on there, and it then uploads to the micro bit. And you're going. Um, the CPX is slightly different. Um, the only real difference though is that the the strip is on pin one. Um, that's one, that's the main difference. Now to actually load, I mean, you see over here, I got a whole bunch of fun, I've made a whole bunch of functions and see how I got a set pixel color at zero to a certain color. I was doing silver and gold on a whole set of um, you know, pixels. And then I did a green function. Then I did a, I, did, I was just making functions to do different colors. Um, and then you call the functions. So the other thing with CPX is it doesn't automatically show up on your desktop. You have to click a reset button, which is right in the middle here when you're ready to program it and you click that and it flashes lights at you and then it'll pop up on your computer. And then you drag and drop. So, there's some ideas.